cafe. Anyway. Uh, hello. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to FF episode 2666. Ooh. 2666. It's Mike Matthews in the show called Mike's Daily Podcast. Here we are, and it's Mike Matthews, and I am checking the levels. For those of you who don't know, this is something that can trouble you. I mean, trouble you if you don't have it correct. You gotta set the volume so it reflects well when you play it back later and people wanna listen to Mike's Daily Podcast. The show called Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, I don't think on the video people are hearing the song behind me. Mike's called Mike's Daily Daily Podcast. That's such a shame. Yeah! But, oh well. Mike's Daily Podcast is what we have. And it is... It's, it's, it's been a lot of FFF episodes. I think um, if you've listened for any amount of time, you, you're like well aware I've done a lot of FFF episodes. Thank you if you have been listening for a long time. The last podcast had a wonderful podcast picture of the moon. And it is a blue moon tonight. And I sang a little of that song the last podcast. So definitely go back and listen to that because it is so important. And we talked about it's National Trail Mix Day on the day you're probably listening to this on August 31st. And we've talked about it's National Matchmaker Day. But did you know if you are listening to this on September 1st, because yes, if you're listening to this on the 31st, oh my gosh, it's the last day of August. What are you going to do the last day of August? Oh, no. I guess you prepare yourself for September. And there it is. September 1st is National Forgiveness Day. Forgiveness is a fantastic song from Lee and Rhymes. Forgiveness. Or is it Commitment. My brain isn't working so well. Well, everybody remembers the song from Don Henley. Forgiveness. For, even if, even if you don't love me anymore. We're going to have a podcast picture of Basil the Boxer. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com because I pay for that website. It's National Forgiveness Day. So forgive somebody. You've held a grudge long enough. You need to finally say enough. I guess I am very upset about what you did 3,000 years ago. The late great Basil the Boxer would agree. Let it go! Adina Menzel, that thing. That's right, Basil. It's time to just let it go. I have no idea if any of this video cast is being recorded. If it's not, you've got the podcast. That's all I worry about anyway. But yeah, it's time to let it go and forgive. And it's a Bible thing, too. Look at this, people at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. I got my NIV, my new international version of the Holy Bible. I got through that. I got into it. <laughs> could probably pick out any verse here. I could grab a verse that says something about... <laughs> but I do have something about loving your enemies. Apparently, Jesus said the following, and I know because it's written in red if you have the NIV, which means the New International Version. And that is the following. You will travel into the incredible universe. You have heard that. It, well, Jesus didn't sound like that, I'm pretty sure. But he said, he said the following, according to the Bible and the NIV. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your father in heaven. He caused his son to rise on the evil. And that is son as in an astrological, astronomical body in space that keeps us warm. Oh, a little too warm lately. The Royal Trump Tweet Decree. Decree. It's supposed to be a little bit cooler here in the Podcaster Valley area tomorrow. 
So he, capital H, he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are you not even the tax collectors? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? Hmm. You know, my last name is Matthews, and Matthew was a tax collector. He was one of the disciples that collected taxes, so he probably wasn't too well liked amongst his brethren. Am I right, brother? And if you greet only your own people, Jesus goes on to say, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly father is perfect. This show is clean. And usually right around here, if I were a pastor, I could extrapolate on all that and say a bunch of interesting things. But that probably had something to do with forgiveness somewhere in there. Pretty much. I'll go back and listen to this later and go, oh, yeah. That's what it meant. You know, I mean, people, you know, people get stuck on stupid, you know Some what I mean? Words. Oh, and I put the Bible away without even telling you what book that was from. It was one of the Gospels. Sorry. Dang. Uh, it was Luke? What's it? I can't find it now. The Bible's big if you didn't notice. Oh, here it is. Matthew. It was Matthew. Matthew 6, nope, 5, uh, 5, verse... 43 through 48. Favagoo. Things to do. Things to do. Love your neighbor as yourself. That kind of theme. What am I saying here? Oh, it's National Burnt Ends Day. Yes. It's Burnt Ends Day. Boy, that's delicious. Burnt Ends. <laughs> Whenever I go to any kind of barbecue place and they have Burnt Ends, yowza. But thankfully I don't go to that many Because A, it's expensive B, it's probably not the best food for you C, it's National Hotel Employee Day Let's hear it for hotel employees That have been striking lately Along with anchors Anchors? Actors Actors and writers As we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Anyway Let's hear it for people That make your hotel room Oh so nice And after you've had a long day traveling or running away from a hurricane. This is Mike's Podcast Picnic. Going to a conference and listening to a bunch of boring speeches. You want to lay your head down in a La Quinta and just relax. And you know you deserve that. But you only get that because of the hotel employees. So let's hear it for them The National Hotel Employee Day It's National Chianti Day That's a fine wine Always in that little bottle with the little basket thing at the bottom Very good I've never uh, Disliked a Chianti I haven't had one in eons But mm. National Acne Positivity Day Is also September 1st Yours truly never had acne I did have one I had to pay the piper though Because Over on the left hand side of my face Which you can't see with the camera that I have going Hopefully this is recording I have no idea MTV News You hear it First Kathy's Corner Kathy's Corner National Acne Day I had to pay the piper because my Left hand side of my face got an ingrown hair And that hurts A whole heck of a lot And you have to have surgery To remove the hair And I've had to pay for it ever since That started So I missed acne all through my teen years But when I hit 20 That's when that, all this problem started to happen In 21 And it's National Lazy Moms Day Let's hear it for you lazy moms That are like Oh I deserve to drink some Chianti And relax Maybe have some You can't have Chianti without having some delicious Italian food So It should also be National Italian Food Day Not so sure By the way if you are watching the video I don't know how I'm going to get this on YouTube Or if I'm going to get dinged on YouTube I've already got 
a warning because of some podcast I did eons ago where I talked about ballot harvesting because I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Mike is on it, man. man. Go with no man has gone. Before. We love it, Mike. If I do happen to get this up on YouTube, my point is that y- you you are going to be w- able to watch it, and that's. What I have found is video really detracts from if you're going to do an audio podcast. And I have always focused on doing an audio podcast and making it really good. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants. You're being more real. And that's the trajectory society has been on for quite a while. You got to be more real. You got to be more real. But then you've got all these makeup tutorial Channels on YouTube This is how to hide all your blemishes This is how to make yourself look more like Barbie Some perfect Icon that you can't ever Attain because that's just some Imagination of some Man somewhere Why do you just be yourself Warts and all Woo! Hey did you know And a lot of kids are going through this as they go back To school and dealing with all that And their body image and all of that But As they go back to school, a lot of kids are back at school now. Even in California, where they used to go back to school in September. No, they go back to school first week of August. The most expensive back to school season to date was this year. For students and families, there could be, this could be the most expensive back to school season to date. This year's total back to school spending is going to reach about $42 billion. Last year it was 37 billion. So yes, it's gone up considerably. Families with children in elementary through high school plan to spend an average of $890 on school supplies. 890. Bands mutation. 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 That's $25 more than last year. And 43% of back to school shoppers will have to leverage some form of financing to pay for supplies this year. Backpack prices are still 10% higher than they were the same month uh, that they're looking at June of 2023. They're 10% higher than they were that same time in 2019. So that's what you're dealing with there. I got that from Rob Black. I produce his podcast, The Rob Black Show. And it also says here that on average, the median 401k balance. Do you do a 401k at your job? I think it's mandatory now, isn't it? The average, the median 401k balance for Americans in their 50s, they have 57,000. That is the average. Meaning half of 401k balances are lower than this amount and half are higher. It's an interesting point. And this is one last interesting fact that I will glean from Rob. And that is, and by the way, a bob is, you know, a short haircut. If it's a little bit longer than a bob, it's called a Robert. Hmm? Think about it. And up to 91% of women Adenda with Kevin. They've received romantic advances on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. I know it sounds like Lincoln, but it's LinkedIn. And that's for finding jobs. How are, why are you trying to... Hmm? Huh? Men are odd. Why are you looking for uh, love on LinkedIn? Let's see, I've tried Eat Harmony. I've tried Bumblebee. I've tried Coffee Meets Bagel. Now I think I'll try LinkedIn. It doesn't seem like that would be the, but I guess it's a social media of some sort. Hey, look who's here. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Challenge Two High School Chef Supervisor. I hope people watching the video aren't watching the video right now, Mike Matthews, because they won't understand that it's Shelly Shoe High School Chef Supervisor. Yeah, Shelly, thank you for stopping by. Shelly, what snow globe is this? This is a special one that you can get only if you buy it in a Chianti bottle, Mike Matthew. Ah, oh, it's a snow globe 
in a Chianti bottle. Interesting. People will just have to imagine that or watch the video where we do not have a demonstration of that. Okay, look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, this is all very fascinating that you're being recorded on a video and people don't notice that if they are listening to the audio. <clears throat> yes, well put. Welsh on the world. Commitment. What a great song from Leanne Rhymes. Nobody remembers it. But they can't find the moon. They can't fight the moonlight. And they can't fight the blue moon that's happening tonight. But I wish you luck. And I wish you luck if you're in the path of that horrendous hurricane. Not Hillary. That's over with. The new one. The, the one that has kind of an Italian name. That one. I hope everything goes well for everyone in its path. You know, my mom lived in Florida for almost 20 years. She lived there till she passed away last year. And she went through so many hurricanes. And by the last one she experienced, but I think that was about a year before she passed. She was like, okay, I've had enough. My neighbors are, have, they all invited me to go with them as they drove up north and away from the hurricane. I should have gone with them. She said, next time I will. Cause she had enough. I don't think I could deal with it. I mean, here in California, you just get used to earthquakes, but hurricanes, that's a whole other animal. So be careful of those things. And hopefully we won't have any more this year. But next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player and the brewmaster. Enjoy the rest of your day evening or whatever you're listening to this podcast perhaps it's the evening and whatever it is thank you for listening and with more on how to reach me aside from the phone number which is 510-228-4640 it's a frame mike's daily podcast is written and produced and performed by mike matthews his podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.